The Metal Mule Max Pannier is the only pannier to use a silicon seal to ensure they're watertight to IP66 classification. Metal Mule. Engineered to be different. So I'm Mario. Uh, I am a director of the TRF. And uh, we look after, we're the club for riding on unsurfaced roads throughout England and Wales. Well, a few years back, um, I was off on a round the world trip with the family and I was uh, in Cairns in Aus Australia uh, in, a, in a vehicle, in a van and um, the kids were going jip, 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 how many more miles? And the wife was going jip, 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 how many more miles? And this guy rode up to me, English guy, in a uh, BMW 1200 GS and uh, I had a look at that and thought, I'll have some of that. Uh, got back from the trip, went along, um, got my ticket, joined the TRF, and the rest was history. Not at all. I mean, motorcycling for me was something that had always been at the back of my mind. Uh, you know, when I was younger, I wanted a bike, but parents said, well, they were almost on the verge, but then said, a bit too dangerous, and uh, that was it. So uh, um, it never something that really came up, and instead I had cars, all sorts of cars, fast cars and four-wheel drives and all the rest of this stuff. Very much in, as a petrol head, but bikes is recent, five years or so. You know, I'm a businessman at the end of the day, and when you see something and you enjoy something a lot, whatever it is, golf or whatever, people have their passions, but you see that the infrastructure behind it is broken, as a businessman, you want to go and fix it. You want to do what you can to go off and fix it. And I simply took my years and years of corporate experience, working in corporate companies, build, building telecoms companies, which I do as a, a day job, and took that experience and put it into the TRF. Not in a corporate way, but in a very personable, hopefully, way. And, and, it, and it's paid off, and we're doing incredibly well at the moment. So the Trail Riders Fellowship has been going since 1970. We started off at a, um, in Tring in Hertfordshire and we are started off as an organisation that wanted to preserve roads that people have been using, unsurfaced roads, um, and get people riding on them. So we went out and cleared lanes and um, made sure that lost routes were preserved. Now it's grown into a um, a large and very well respected rights of way organisation and basically we're guardians of the roads um, in England and Wales and we operate through a system of groups, 40 groups, who preserve the roads around their area and we take trail riders out, people for ride, who want to ride off-road and I use the word advisably because they are roads, we take them out and show them how to ride, where to ride and uh, have a great time. Well, we have a, um, every group has a rights of way, rights of road officer who looks after the patch, deals with councils, um, and basically looks after the rights in that area. That's done at a local level. But a far bigger fight is on larger projects, on larger pieces of government legislation. We will use the money that we do from our membership revenue to fight court cases and uh, actively lobby uh, politics and politicians uh, for our rights to ride. We had a very successful campaign um, a year ago, Right to Your MP. We actually got featured for the first time in Parliament associated with a debate on green exercise. And now we're um, looking at um, going along, taking our argument to Country File, Country File Live, where we're going to be exhibiting this year and also to the Gamekeepers Association, the Gamekeepers Fair. So we're going to be taking our discussion and any sort of prejudices that people have about us to the landowners and the great and good of this country. Well, a few years back when, um, you know, starting with a marketing business head around me, um, I sat down with a bunch of guys and we actually broke down what the core benefits were to being in the TRF. Um, that basically people couldn't get elsewhere. 
because if you want to go off and ride a few lanes, then no problem. You can look those up on the web and do a bit of research. You can pick up this information and get on with it. But the, um, with the TRF, you can go out, you can contact, you can ride with 5,000 people. You can uh, find out where to ride. Um, you can obviously look up around 3,000 miles of lanes um, easily on the web, but another 3,000 you can you get from the TRF. Um, places with um, access to simply, simple more, uh, simply more riding. Um, and then other, all sorts of benefits, training, lots of benefits behind that, you know, that easily outweigh its £45 a year fee. Well, um, where we're after is simply, the, our, our, our number one aim is conservation. It's keeping what we've got. Yeah, it's that simple. So um, the existing, and we do have, you know, 6,000 miles of unsurfaced, right, of unsurfaced roads to, um, to ride on. If you compare that to motorways, there are about 2,000 miles of motorways. So there are plenty of uh, unsealed roads to, uh, to ride on. We want to conserve that. That's our number one aim. And how we're going to do that is addressing some of the issues that are driving forces against us. And this is antisocial riding, illegal riding. We must make our case clear that we have solutions to address that and we'll be left alone. I, I mean, I don't get paid for what I do. It's purely voluntary, yeah? Um, all the directors, and we have a great team of directors. They're nine directors. We just do this for the fun and the love of it. Okay, we enjoy trail riding. Um, one of the things and one of the attractions is you get to meet some fantastic people and, uh, uh, and that is probably the reason why I do it. Uh, and as long as that continues and I come, like today, to amazing places I simply did not know existed in the Malvern Hills, tomorrow I'm getting taken out by a local guy here who's going to show me all the best lanes. For me that is reward enough. No parts intrude into the max pannier. This ensures every inch of space can be used. Metal Mule. Engineered to be different.